Listen, I told you I was going to take over. You, only you can get a... There's very few people, like you and Sway are probably two of the only people in the world that I let get away with that, man. But it's an honor to have you here. That's how it's supposed to be, man. It's an honor to be here, man. So that was top tier. Um, damn, so who had the best verse? You still don't know? I don't know, man. I don't know. I like them all. Eric. We got my man Eric here. Eric, step to the mic real quick, People man. Get Come put on. on the spot in you gotta here, say, man. yeah, I'm putting, putting you on the spot. Shout out man. to all the, the press and uh and uh tastemakers we got on the spot right now. I appreciate y'all time coming Yo, through sh- tonight. Shout out your name and, and who you with, man. Uh my name is Eric Deep, uh with BET. Okay, you with BET today, man. He's a hustler. Eric, who had the best verse, Eric? Uh you gotta give it to Bun B. Okay, oh, okay. Bun B. Oh okay. Trail. I'ma go Sean Price just cause that one line. Yeah. Woo! I'm going to go Styles P, so top tier. There you go. <laughs> stalemate, stalemate. Good nah, that line, there. that Roots line that Sean Price got is definitely one of the most ignorant lines in the history of rap music. Love it, though, man. Rap's supposed to be ignorant. Man, wasn't that ignorant, though? I, I'm not too mad at him. Sometimes you just don't want to watch Roots <laughs> with white people. It, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah. No, but he says it in a way like watching Roots is like a party thing to do. Like when you with your boy, everybody just comes through and watches Roots. Like it's it's just hilarious how he said it. You don't know what Sean P do at his crib, man. <laughs> um, but Lucky, Lucky Stevens is in stores now, man. That's just a little bit of what you can expect. Um, you know, one of the great things, man, that that I love about you is your chemistry with terminology. Yeah. 1982. I mean, you guys have been down since we were 16. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know we were born in the same hospital, same year. That's why it's 1982. Right. Lawrence, Massachusetts. So, so I, I feel like every every project that you put out, Term has been a part of. Yep. And the album you'll put out next, because he's going to put out albums. I'm not putting out. Listen, Term's the next album I'm probably putting out show off is Term's next <laughs> album, but I'm not doing the whole thing. I'm doing about half of it. Okay. Nah, but y- y'all got this um this record on here, Wallflowers, with terminology. Your old Drew, Drew, Lord Sears, and my man Lord it. Sears singing. I got Lord Sears on a record, man. You know how long it's been since he's been on a record? Yeah, it's in the, probably like since the Fondalum like Fondalum days. records. Yeah, man. Shout out to um, Barbito, man. Wallflowers, man. First of all, um, your old Drew. Yeah, it's funny because uh, I know you're very involved with Drew's career. When we first met, Good like friend. we kind of had like a weird. We didn't really click at first, and then uh, we had seen each other at South by Southwest. Mm. And, you know, $200 worth of Hennessy later, we were like good friends. Right. So we got back to Brooklyn, and he's been coming through since. And actually, I was with him two nights ago in um, in Tilburg, Netherlands, and we were wilding out. It was a great festival. But um, he comes through all the time now, like, just to kick, launch some kick in it. You know right. what I mean? Like, we don't even work every day. We just um, just vibe out. And when we did that song, I think we did three songs the first day we actually got in the studio together. And it was like the second song we did. The other song is also on the album. It's called Hood Boogers. Right. But uh, this one is definitely dope because it just got that vibe to it. And, um, you know, hearing Lord Sayer, can, like Lord Sayer can really sing. There's no auto tune, no none of that. And people don't really, I think I'm showing his talent on this. I remember, I remember Lord Sayer from um, the Curious George record, the Uptown shit, singing he, the outro. He thought he was Jamaican on that one. But yeah. Th- on this one, he thinks he's in uh, the Gap Band. <laughs> No, wait, so you and Drew didn't get along at first. No, were, I wouldn't say were, that. Were you I mad because he wasn't no, Nas? You were like, I thought Nas was Nas. Nah, see, hold on, hold on, hold on. Any Nas fan knows <laughs> that, he, like, anyone that thought he was Nas, it, I don't even know what Tell him, talk about it. But, um, nah, to me, it's like. Is it because it's two like, white it's guys? It's like action and Ghostface. Like, if you're really a right. hip hop fan, you knew that action wasn't Ghostface. Right. Same thing. And, uh, you know, he people grow. It's not that they grow out of it. It's that the fans start. They just stop doing that because they earn their spots. And Action Bronson obviously earned his spot. Now yeah. Droog's earning his spot to where the comparison stopped. Yeah. And uh, on this song especially, man, I think it's dope because he talks about, even on the other record on my album, he goes, my first show, I should have put on a mask. Right. Like, you know, he could he just could just play with people's. Um, right. Yeah, he, 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 does it, he does it on here too. Um fuck suck is talking about who is he yeah and all of that um you know he's talking about his battling days back in the right. projects so yeah. he's been paying his dues all right so but you guys are cool now right yeah, I, nah, I didn't i'm know, trying to tell you we hang on like I, I didn't know if it was the myth you know they say like two white guys in hip-hop ah, never get along you put you know two what? white hip-hop hate, guys in the same room yo i hate when people <laughs> even talk about that especially other white people like you know usually like what the f- come on man it's 2015 bro <laughs> oh jokes nah this, this is dope though and i'm glad that you guys are collaborating because it really sounds like a a good match and we turn them on the record you really can't go wrong you want to get into it yeah let's go wallflowers wallflowers yo drew terminology and lord said 